I talked to an expert in neuroplasticity who was talking about how different illnesses um, are easier to transform than others. Like chronic fatigue can be a little more difficult because it is a cellular process that's going on. That mm -hmm. was really interesting, but I definitely see what you mean in terms of the self-perpetuating. And I can even look at indications from before I was sick of how I was always catastrophizing when I would get certain symptoms. And I yep. think that can be quite common. I'm not going to generalize that's a, to everyone. Yeah. That's a self-hypnosis program. Mm. And, and here's the bizarre thing, you know, Dr. Eric Robbins, a friend of mine. And um, so he's a urologist. And of course he has clients that come in and they got areas down there that have problems. And one of the things he asks, it says, well, any abuse growing up as a child? Mm. And he says, invariably, there's always something. Yeah, and most says, doctors you know, don't look at that. Yeah. Well, they don't, again, they can't fix that. A psychologist can't fix that either, right? Yeah. And so, so here it is. You go to the doctor and they say, well, you got ulcers. Therefore, you have a bad stomach. They don't say, what in your life are you worried about? Right. Where, where, are, your, where are your emotional concerns? Because again, the uh, happiness is a chemical problem. Depression is, is a chemical creation too. Mm -hmm. So again, the cells do naturally respond to your thinking right now, as you listen to this, you can stop and say, okay, do I have a happy memory? And you stop, you think about a happy memory, you feel happy, your body now cellularly will be speaking happy feelings. Now, if you have a trauma or a fear or a worry, all you got to do is stop and think about it. Your body follows that. So my entire system is, is modeled after this one concept. Whatever you think, your body follows. Whatever you hold in your mind, your body produces. Mm. And if you can change what's in here, which changes what's in the cup, you change your whole life in existence. Right. And that's, yeah. really what, and that's really what we're after. And the problem is, is that people have been so emotionally conditioned by unhealthy emotionally family members or experiences or doctor traumas or school traumas or religious fears and phobias you know, yeah. Phyllis, her, her biggest programming was the horrible fear of being a little girl laying in her bed, fear of dying, burning in hell. Mm, yeah. She emotionally conditioned her to be so afraid of the world. And then, of course, as a nurse, she sees horrible things. Guess where this goes? It goes right in here. And then all of a sudden, the emotional dynamics growing up as a child shifts from the emotions floating around in the home environment to now it's floating around in wavelengths or smells or chemical sensitivities. Mm -hmm. I see this a bunch. But again, if you go to a system and they can't change the number one cause of all problems, full stop, memories, internal representations. Mm. You change that, the cycle ends. Yeah. And I and I mean from experience, I'm I'm agreeing with you. It's just hard when there's no scientific ability to like prove that obviously your proof is in the pudding in mm -hmm. terms of your results but um do you see any way that like science could help to like actually i don't know is there a way we could show this to in a biological sense do you think um what i what is very scientifically known is that it's called the placebo effect now of course mm -hmm. the placebo effect you hear with a lemon in the mouth of the researcher saying this placebo is ruining our good research, which basically means uh, people are getting a fake drug, a fake operation, and they heal. Now, what is it? Is it the sugar pill that's healing them? Is it the fake operation healing them? No, it's uh -huh. internal emotional processes. So scientifically has proven that the mind can heal itself in spite of a sugar pill. Right. Also, science has proven that you can have the right drug, the right operation, and yet you're still sick, you die. Yeah. So again, science has clearly proven that the mind can heal itself. So placebo means the mind's great ability to heal itself in spite of the fake sugar or the fake operation. Nocebo effect is uh, the mind's great ability to not heal in spite of how good the drug is and how good the operation is. And many of my clients are, have gone to every doctor and they say, we don't know what's wrong with you, but they know something's wrong. Mm -hmm. And yeah. then, you know, and then of course, then they go and they do an internet search and they find some disease that they think they have. And they go to the doctor and they test it and say, you don't have that. But yes, I do. Because uh -huh. it's internal the creation of it. Yeah. And then they get in the fear cycle for sure. I've been there. <laughs> yeah. Well, even with logic, 
in science too. The problem is there's a lot of things science can't prove that is true. Yeah. And 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 bowing down to the great scientific project or the scientific research issue. The problem is all research is only as good as those who are financing the research. Mm-hmm. So if you need proof outside of yourself, then the problem is goes back to the same problem. My parents broke me. My parents caused me problems. And the only way I'm going to heal is, is science can give me the right drug, the right operation. 